Welcome to Make Food, Make Love. The cooking and relationship show strictly for guys. In this series, we'll show you how to make simple, delicious dishes for your partner. Let's get cooking. With your host, Chef Geff. Welcome to another episode of Make Food, Make Love, the cooking show for guys, where I show you how to cook so that she loves you more. And today, we are making a very simple, almost self-cooking uh, meal of, or a recipe. It's called a banana kebab. Now, we're not talking about a ripe banana. We are going to be using a green banana. So, my girlfriend has not tasted my banana kebab. So that's exactly what we are going to be doing today. So to get started, what we need to do is take about six or seven green bananas and bring them to a boil. Boil them for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes or until soft. Now my bananas has been boiling for that time. So I'm going to switch off the stove and I'm going to remove them from the water. Now, this recipe should not take you more than 10 minutes to prepare. So it's quick and it's easy. And even if you are a amateur or beginner at cooking, it's going to be simple for you to do. So once your bananas are off the stove, all you're going to do then is peel them. So you're going to cut off the edges. All right, the banana is still hot, so you want it to cool down a bit. And then simply peel off the skin. There we go. Place that into a bowl. So these bananas are pretty hot. Let me go ahead and um, peel the rest of the bananas for you. Let's do that. So here you have your bananas all peeled up. Now all you have to do is take these bananas and pour them into a food processor. So already about 70% of your work is done. And that's really all the time you need in your food processor. So I remove the banana from the food processor and place them back into your bowl. Now the thing about this recipe is that you really don't need any binding agent. So there are no, no eggs in this recipe. So not only is this recipe vegetarian, but it's also vegan as well. So, right, so to our banana, we add a tablespoon of cumin powder. We add some coriander powder, about one teaspoon as well. And then we add about a half a teaspoon of garam masala, one of my favorite masalas. And then to that, we're gonna add about a heap a teaspoon of a chili powder. Now, if you don't want your uh, kebab spicy, you can tone down a bit on the curry powder. Now, to that, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be adding in uh, one onion. So let us uh, slice up one onion. So the onion is gonna add in its uh, texture as well as flavor. Next, we're going to take some uh, coriander. Right. We take our coriander and then we chop it up. <clears throat> so that goes in there. And that is all your work basically done for your kebab. Now, you got to get in there, use your hands, and just mix. So you want to mix the story, mix up everything. Now, I am, mix, I am missing a few ingredients actually uh, in this kebab. And we're going to add that in now. Alright. And those missing ingredients are actually a pinch of salt. Actually, let's add a bit more salt. And to that, you can also add in a bit of mixed herbs as well. Alright, and if you want, if you want, you can also add in some pepper, uh, black pepper. So yeah, I have some black whole pepper, which I'm gonna grind into my mixture. 
So what you want to do is that you want to take a little bit of uh, a kebab into your hand and start to roll it into a ball. This is how you do it, right? Just watch me. Take a handful of banana mixture into your hand and you can even do it with one hand, right? Just slowly mold it into a ball and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and finish making the rest of these recipe, uh, rest of these balls and uh, we'll join you after we're done. Alright, so here we have our uh, made up banana kebabs that now need to be uh, shallow fried. Uh, so about 7 bananas gives you about a dozen of kebabs which is enough for 2 people to eat. So I've got a stove, um, stove on here with a frying pan and it's uh, just about heating up and to that what I'm going to do is add in some uh, coconut oil so about uh, two tablespoons uh, or so of coconut oil um, you don't want to drown your kebabs in coconut oil and you can use olive oil but I suggest using coconut oil because um, olive oil is not too healthy once you start to heat it up Olive oil is great for salads, making mayonnaise, um, but not so good for uh, frying anything or even cooking. The best is actually coconut oil. Right, so what you're looking for, I think our oil is ready. What you're looking for is a brown, a browning of our kebab. Right. So don't, don't put in more into the um, frying pan than you can control. So about five at a time is good. Just make sure your oil is evenly uh, distributed on the pan. And it's literally going to take two to three minutes of each kebab to fry. And uh, you fry until it becomes a nice golden brown. If you don't want to fry your kebabs, you can very easily put it into your oven to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. Brown. As it's frying, it's going to form this thin layer of crispness around it that's going to seal in the flavor and the goodness of the kebab. I promise you, when you eat this, you're really not going to know whether you're eating a meat kebab or you're eating a vegetable. Or technically, it's a fruit kebab because banana is a fruit, right? Remove them. There you go. Look at that. You know, I'm really looking forward to the day where, you know, you guys will be able to not just see, but to also have a smell experience as well in the kitchen. Alright. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fry the rest of these kebabs. And then we're going to come back when we're ready to make our chutney. Alright, so to our oil, we're going to be adding in some mustard seed because mustard seed goes really well with chutney and you want to wait until your mustard seeds begin to pop. Uh, that's when you know your mustard seed is ready. Alright, so you'll see it start to turn a different color and you'll hear a slight popping sound in your pot. And to that, we're going to be adding in our onion our garlic and our chili so all of that goes in I'm just going to allow this to fry nicely in your pot so this takes about 2 or 3 minutes as well if you want to wait until your onions are brown that's when you know you're ready for the next step of this chutney. I've actually gone ahead and um, grated up some tomatoes here. Now you can use a can of tomatoes, no problem. In fact, that's probably the easier way to go, the easier um, way and the time-saving way to go. So you can either use about uh, four tomatoes or you can just use a can of tomatoes uh, with some tomato puree in your dish but I've got some fresh tomatoes which I'm using here so once you see our onion 
starting to turn translucent and turn a little brown to that we're going to add in a curry leaf right so a, a stem of curry leaf so what you do what you can do is remove all of the leaves from there just allow the aroma the fragrance of the curry leaf to infuse into your onion and your oil mix all right so once that's ready what we're going to do is we're going to add in some turmeric about um, three quarters of a teaspoon or so and then to that what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in my favorite masala and this is a kashmiri masala so about a teaspoon and a half or so Right, so that we can just get that a mix. Allow the masala and the spices to blend in with the oil. And then it's very simple from here. All you're gonna do is add in our tomato. That's it. Just give that a stir, make sure you are Stove is on a nice high. Make sure all of your spices mix in to your tomato. Now that's gonna that's gonna come to a boil. So while we're waiting for that, just wanna, I just want to cut out cut up some uh, coriander. Now, coriander is not just a garnish, right? But it's also adds so much of flavor to your meal. A lot of people only use the leaves of the uh, coriander, but most of the flavor actually exists in the stock. So do not waste the stock. Make sure you add that into the curry. So what I'm going to do with this is that I'm going to add in about half of my coriander now. And I'm going to keep half for later. Now, I've already gone ahead earlier on and made some basmati rice. So that basmati rice is ready. I'm going to be serving our banana kebab uh, with the chutney with some basmati rice. So go ahead and prepare your favorite side uh, dish, your favorite carb that you want to have with this meal. Rice, naan, roti, whatever it is that you prefer. In fact, it can even go very easily with just some brown or white bread as well. Right, so to this, we're going to add in some salt to taste. And most importantly, and this is what people forget, a tomato is a very acidic a fruit, right? A tomato is a fruit, not really a vegetable. So uh, today is actually a fruit day, and not really a vegetable day. So what you want to do is add in at least, at least, uh, a heaped spoon of a heaped uh, tablespoon of sugar to your chutney, right? Because that's going to cut down the acidity of your tomatoes. All right, so our chutney is uh, ready. So to that, we are going to be adding in our kebabs. Now, if you want, you can even eat your kebabs without your chutney. You can use your favorite dip favorite sauce you know um, and you can add like a chili sauce if, if you want so that is in there all right now I'm just going to give that a stir it's gonna almost bath the kebabs with the chutney just infuse that in there let's make sure that it all gets in a little bit of that chutney flavor of the tomatoes and the chutney is going to go into the, into, into the kebab and the flavor of the kebab is going to infuse into the chutney. So to that I'm going to add the rest of my coriander. It's going to keep a little bit made it for garnish. So let's turn, up, turn off the gas, have some rice then we're just gonna plate out our kebabs. So 
about five kebabs for a person, you know, as much as you wish to eat. So it's done. And with that, here is my green banana kebab served with rice. So let's do my favorite part of the show, the taste test. So let's get in. Take a little bit of the kebab. Check me. I really don't know whether I'm just always really hungry by the time I'm done filming this, uh, these episodes or whether the food I cook is just so damn good. It's really hard to say what I'm eating. I don't know whether it's soya or whether it's meat, but I can tell you that whatever I am eating is absolutely delicious. Divine. So, why don't you go ahead and try making these um, absolutely delicious banana kebabs. If you want, you can omit the onion and um, you can make the, the, the kebabs without the onion if you want a more smoother sort of ball if you, if, if you don't like the onion. And if you want also, you can add in a little bit of a chili. You can actually cut chili and add it to this as well. If you make the recipe, please send me your photos. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear if you're trying out any of the recipes. And I'd like to know what your partner is thinking as well. So until next time, 